southeast of England. Let us know if you can hear us pop in the chat. I can have a little, hopefully, you can see us there in the chat as well. 17 folks in the house, hello and welcome, welcome. Can you hear us? Let us know a thumbs up. Let us know in the comments, that would be fantastic. Just getting some little alterations here. We're just having a, a chill half hour chit chat. So that's all we're kind of up for. If everyone's anyone's up for that, that would be fantastic. Just wait for folks to get. There's quite a few folks <laughs> walking by as well. Do say hello. Boom, boom, boom. Hi there, Colin. How are you doing, lad? Nice to see you, Colin. Oh, Andy. Evening, Andy. Right, let's see. Does the... Because I'm doing it live with all the kind of gear set up there and I'm not sure if it's working or anything like that. So just let us know. That'll be fun. Um, Ali, how are you doing? Morning, Ali. Are you Canada, Ali? I think you are, aren't you? Yes, it's a sunny evening here. So, Flossie, how are you doing there? Carol? Yeah, hello, hello, everyone. Ballison, I can never pronounce that. Hey, it's been a while since I've seen all your names there. Hello. I'm right in the sun, that's why I've got me, me specs on there. Yeah, we're just kind of, it's, if you've had a nice day in the allotment there, this is just an unwind chill kind of sesh. I, unfortunately, I haven't been. I've been in actually at work right up to the coal face till two o'clock this afternoon and it's been pandemonium. We've had uh, all sorts of issues with that kind of hot weather, things called atmospherics. So yes, let us know if you've been in the garden. That would be fantastic as well. Have you been in, there's been folks in, in the garden there in our allotment, so. I've just quickly, in the background there, watered the polytunnel there, getting the tomatoes done as well. So that's one job. So we're just kind of, like I say, we're just having a little chit chat. <laughs> I'll tell you what we are having though, look at this. Now these are the kind of, they've been in the allotment for years, these, but these are, you always see like the Americans potting up in these kind of things. But today, tonight, that's getting a little, little gin in, in there, yes. So, I'll wait. I don't want to, I've only got one. I don't want to rush it. You know what I mean? So, Ian, by the plot, how are you doing, lad? Got a burn forehead. I know I should. Mind you, do. You know, I need a little bit of cream now and again. J, plot number 12. Hello, J. Amelia. Hello, Amelia. So, we're just kind of. Like I say, I haven't really got anything planned. I'm just going to kind of chit. If you want to answer, send some questions over. Me, I tell you what, they are looking good, mind you. Me shallots that Stan give us, the banana shallots, are everyone's took. Because I thought I might have getting hit with like snails or slugs taking the tops off. Or, but no, both beds as well. Because I've got, you know, I've got them in kind of both beds. And they're, they're both doing pretty, you know, because they were part of the main, my main kind of years, like the big ones, do you know what I mean? The kind of tomatoes, those banana shallots. Last year was the big thing was the Cabarel Nero. Now I've only actually got, and it's right next to us, just there, this bed. Hello, Skippy, I just seen you come in there, lad. How are you doing, Elizabeth? How are you doing? Eddie, nice to see you, lad. And Nick Elliott, how are you doing? My hot wax is looking shocking, Nick. <laughs> I didn't show you them. They're about that big, man. <gasps> Ron, nice. Put your other beans in. It's funny, I've left mine out. I'll be bolotti beans there, so they've been out for a couple of days because although we're coastal, you know, I still get knocked dead easily. So, oh, stands in. Got my Zuber. All oh, right, you just put yours in yesterday, Stan. I might have been hedging me bloody bets there. Well, the, Stan, to be honest, I'm looking after them girls of yours. They look all right. The seam, everything seems fine with them. Mine must be because you said yours were a little bit bigger. So mine must be. Must have, might have, could possibly have been a bit too early. Put them. Well, I've only had them in a few couple of days. I think at, at the most, but you know. So what, what, who we got in? T-Rex MX, how are we doing, lad? Cost this hell with burn, look at it, man. Hey, glorious. We'll be going, we'll all be going, all of us, we'll be going swimming, mind you. Doing the kind of, I've been watching, but I actually got it, I got a link, there was a link someone 
<coughs> excuse me, dropped the link to this wild swimming. And it's uh, Win Van Hoff or something. And it's, you're not meant to be, sw well, you can swim, I guess, but he's doing it for like the cold, just like breathing and all the kind of cold. And I quite like to dig that. So I was thinking I might do a one, you know, like finish a night shift and just get, because I drive past the sea, do you know what I mean? Straight in there, 10 minutes in that freezing cold water, come out alive. <laughs> <laughs> who, who we got in? Go on, say hello. So I know who's in. We can get Anthony. Hello from Ireland. Hello, Anthony. How are you doing, lad? Ginger Pete from Derby. <coughs> Dad used to live down there. Ginger Pete. Andy Morton. How are you doing? Amelia, wedding ring is worse than my. What's that? <laughs> Elizabeth Lowe. Hello. Found a slug in the carpet in your bed. Oh. Oh, right. You must have brought it in from the allotment. Right, right. Growing in Scotland, hello, how are you doing, lad? Oh, lass, <laughs> Carol, I've, I've said hello to you, Carol. Peter Perry, hello, Peter, how are you doing? Martin, how are you doing from Wales, Martin? I hope we've got some nice weather all in our Welsh comrades down there. I hope we've got some nice weather. Like I say, it's been gorgeous. And yesterday, mind you, you've seen, was it yesterday I went to the wild swim? You've seen, it was like that kind of weather all day. We either got lovely sunshine and everyone piles to the coast, or we've got the worst fret in the in the world. And it's like half a mile in, hits with burn, we never see a bit of sunshine. And like you say, half a mile that way, it's glorious. It's like this. So yesterday was a bit dour for us here. It was a bit kind of cold, because it's cold, you know, when that fret's kind of coming inland. But today's been by all accounts a lovely day although you know i have been working and you know grafting on there all bloody dear just wait just wait till 21st of july that's kind of roughly the time i go part-time so oh god i'm looking forward to that mind you <gasps> so it will be part-time will be three days on. i might probably mention this the last live so three days on four days off three days on ten days off every site every you know what i mean then back to the three days on so only work three days and i'm either off four days or ten days <gasps> mother chuffer <laughs> i cannot wait man i cannot especially when you like the alarm's going off at quarter past five for an early shift you know you can't kind of dry then i'm taking the dogs out before and i don't mind when you're off i love that do you know what i mean to get up that early and kind of the sun's out and everything but to go to look at eight computer screens on your desk and battle with the, the elements it's getting harder right what we what's going on hello kevin how are you doing there george best how are you doing from dulwich there george nice to see you there it's boiling in scotland says growing in scotland that's nice have we all got nice weather that's all because like you see it's an evening kind of time is it is it one this bank see i'm you lost with the shifts do you know what i mean but I think it's time I can hear the little rattle, little rattle. Have we got drinks? Are we are we prepared everyone? Let us know what you're drinking. Stan, what are you drinking? Eight years, Stan. What you I hope you've got a glass of wine there, Stan, or a little cheeky something little. We'll go and go and get one. <laughs> just, in, just in case there's something in there. I was thinking of, like just bringing I wanted a glass of wine to be very surface, you know what I mean? But our local co-op, which is brilliant, mind I love it, didn't have the... I didn't want to buy a bo bottle of bloody wine, I'd be sloshed. But they didn't have them little bottles, you know, so... Next best thing, pop. Cheers, everyone. I hope everyone has a fab day garden and had a lovely bank holiday, even if you've been at work. Cheers, everyone. Ooh. Oh. I think I'm not guarded. I'm just going to come here and sit here. Oh, that bloody lovely, man. Oh. Oh, Ron's moved some manure. <laughs> get them, get them, oh, bugger the cans. Get them hands washed and get a glass in front of you. Cider in Devon, Rebecca. Oh, very nice. What's, Eddie, what you having though? What you drinking there? What you drinking, everyone? Tony Starlin's drinking. What, what, what are you drinking? Oh, he's got that copper burgers, Dave. Cheers then, everyone. This is it, mind, isn't it? When you kind of, because like I say, the garden's kind of set now you know um we're kind of getting there where it's set for the the first setting if you know what i mean like i say the gall will be coming out soon that's a few more beds and i'll kind of i'm going to probably be 
quickly i should be quickly putting a bit more chard i think that's what i'm gonna be doing uh what's uh mangas oh ballison's on mangas josh is on cider white wine for elizabeth <laughs> dog brew for tony oh it's one that's a bit strong mind if only i get the hiccups and all sorts then kind of So I'll be putting some more chard away, I think. I'm not, I don't know whether to do more beetroot or not. It seemed last year's batch, that like the second batch, the second, no, I, I, no I'll be honest, I was, second batch was all right. I think I pushed it to three and the third one just was like Maltese size, you know what I mean? So Colin's got what you got, Colin. Some homemade blueberry gin from your own blueberry bush, man. <laughs> Colin, man. Send us a bottle up here. <laughs> so, but, oh no, so that's not then the slow gin, because that's from like a slow bush, isn't it? Whatever bush it's called. Right, oh, I wonder, but that's pretty lovely. So you're mixing that, Colin, with a little, I mean, a tonic mix up. You know, I'm just curious, you know what I mean, just to see how you. Do you saw direct for your second batch, Tony? To be honest, does he have bought all them bloody trees, man? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna multi sew everything. I'll probably put another batch of spring onions. I've put a, a batch of spring onions multi sewed in. I've got another batch there, but I haven't got any more seeds. That's what I've just thought there. I haven't got any more seeds, so maybe not. It's just a hassle to get them out. Everything seems to be kind of sold out for us. It's all used when I mention something going by and there's nothing left. Cornish lager. Oh, man, Deborah, what's this Cornish lager? What's it today? Cor Corbet, is it? People, you know, there's nobody coming, but if there's someone in the allotment comes in, I'm just sitting with a gin, you know what I mean? He's sloshed. <laughs> someone couldn't get his wife. That's so, excuse me, that's so nice, mind you. So what, come on, tell us what, we, what we're doing in the garden. And I'm kind of set. What's your big jobs that you've still got? Do you know what I mean? Are you, because one of my, not big jobs, one of my jobs is to have a look now with them potatoes in the hut, in the polytunnel to see if they've got, you know, because I'm not seeing potatoes already at mine are just coming through, but that tub in the polytunnel might have some, some potatoes on. Stan, what's it? I'll show you where these. Oh, Stan's, Stan's going to show us where the slow forest is. We're just going to go. <laughs> He's going to bring a mega distillery there, Stan. <laughs> just finished rosé. I love rosé. Ginger Peter, I love it all, oh, man. Oh, after, I thought you were going to say, like, with, like, fish and chips, homemade chips, that's all right. You know, like, real chip. I thought you were just, like... Wine and fish and chips. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that, mind you. Nothing wrong at all. Right, Stan, what are you doing? What we're doing in the gardens? And we've got some jobs to to go about. Like I say, it's been a, not a bit of a rush, but it's all been there's been it's been easy kind of making videos because there's there's always something to do. It's the kind of winter time where you you struggle on. So, Lund Lund Kevin in Sunland there, lad, good lad. Will, how are you doing? Big fan, what a superstar, Will. Thank you very much, are you? Very humble, thank you. Devon Cider from a hidden cellar in the middle of the hillside fields. Dude, what the hell are you drinking, man? Where's that coming from? <laughs> Plant, right, what's Stan done? He's planted out some onions today. All right, them things. French beans in at the weekend, Ron. Well, I don't know where to put them. I think I'm going to put them bolotti beans, like I mentioned in that. Take a few of them old lettuces out. I think, and just build like a little wigwam. Hello, Bristol Veg. How are you doing? I don't know your name, Bristol Veg. I always just call you Bristol Veg, and that seems to be a little bit. <laughs> and if you tell us, I'll forget mine, you so. <laughs> so what else am I thinking of doing? I tell you what, I don't, and I'm not saying that they didn't work, or they don't work, but my nematodes, wasn't the, I think it was either too cold and, and too dry, but they didn't seem to kind of 
kick off and maybe it's just slugs and I've heard that what I put down wasn't right for like for snails and maybe it's snails that are coming but I seem to have got on top of them at the moment so anybody getting the what you're drinking will it is it I've lost a can now this is a cheeky little gin and tonic <laughs> just throw that over there lad <laughs> It's Helen. Hello, Helen. It's nice to see you, lad. Nematodes, nematodes Elizabeth, are a hit or a miss. I know, I think, I don't know, I just, I was royally expecting them to be like the wonder thing. And I certainly wasn't, but but I think it's actually, I put the, you had to go over with slug pellets, you know what I mean? Because it was like, I was relying on them and then all this, you, you take your eye off them and you see what them, them pigeons or doves did the meat veg, you know what I mean? It only takes you a night or two and it's all gone, so... All day, Jay watering. Well done, lad. I've just, like I say, I've just finished the... the greenhouse there, and the polytunnel is just... Mind I could sit here, you know what I mean? Just lovely. You know what it is? Because it's like... You're in your own little heaven here, and it's just yeah, the wildlife, the birds, and everything are all. And there's only me, you know. Not that I'm saying I wouldn't mind other folks here, you know, in the allotments because it, it's great. But just lovely time of night to be in a garden. So I mean, and you could. I think this is the time as well where you could just be. You would potter, and then you'd get a call. Are you coming back? You know what I mean? You just time would just fly. Gorgeous night, just like you'd you'd get loads done, just like pottering about just probably not get loads of you probably just get nothing done you know what I mean but it's just like you're out in the sun and the weather and it's the bird song so yes so does my wife ever visit the lot not really so this is my little domain and she kind of kind of just thinks no keep you know what I mean would we have our no I don't say we'll have our own thing but the allotments loves the veg and all that you know what i mean but not not one for coming up to the allotment or just or being here i'm sure she, she came up once to see the bee, bees and i think that kind of frightened her a little bit if i'm honest i get the kids up now and again reed will come up when when he's here but he knows he'll get some work but nearly missed the live pot and lots of the, the annie that's all right lass that's don't worry about that we're here like i said i'm not going to be here that long, do you know what I mean? I'm just gonna just relax for a little bit after, and I'm actually I wouldn't care back up at the cool face. Another, I've got two more earlies to do this week. Two early, two more earlies, two backs, and then two nights, and then half a dozen videos, half a dozen videos. Oh, Eddie shares his allotment with his wife. Good on there. Ed, well done. I'm going to sneeze, yeah, I'm sure. Excuse me. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> Sorry, that one tickled me nose, that. That chin went right up me nose there. Whoa. Oh, Rebecca, it's lovely to see, honestly. Like, like I say, Rebecca, we, um, last, yesterday, it was all fret. See, fret for us, so. Look at that, oh, bless you, bless <laughs> So, yeah, it's uh, it's nice. And you don't even mind, like I say, I love going into work when it's lovely and sunny, mind you, because it's like a, a, it's an uplifting feeling, and especially when it's still sunny when you come out, that's, a, you know, I don't want it to be, like, clouded over when I come out, so I'm all right about the work. But I can see the goal, I can see the kind of, not the finish line, but foot off the, the gas kind of thing. How would Natch? Hello, JB lad, how are you doing? Don't you worry about that lad, walking back from the plot at the moment. What a scorch. <laughs> so he's walking back watching <laughs> I hope you've all subscribed to G Naturally JB. I said, I think, do you know, I think I said um, JB Naturally at one point and probably sent loads of folks somewhere else. See, lad. So this is not a garden video today this is what you do in the garden when you've everything's done you chillax Jade Plotnam, what's the question 
Same with my wife. She likes to tell everyone we have an allotment. <laughs> That's right, but I think I know the neighbours think they made my wife up as well. I guess if I, you know what I mean, asked her to come up, but I know she's always kind of got, got her own things and that, and I guess this is my little little bit. Not that I don't want to share it with her, but it's nice just being, being here by myself. Right, what's Andy had? He's had his first feed of the broad bean. All right, Bro, right. Mine's not that far. Well, it's still a, probably a, maybe a month, I'd say. But I'm not going to... I'm hoping the bed's keeping them up, you know, because I've got them in that. I don't know if you can see. That's them there. They're kind of propped up in the bed, you know what I mean? And so I'm hoping that I don't... I'm just being lazy because I didn't want to be bothered staking them, to be honest. It's, it's not the staking, it's the taking down. Oh, wait. JV's <laughs> used to be drinking beer in his plot there, lad. You're worse than bloody me, lad. Oh, Eddie's going to the allotment now, man. Ed, man, is bloody 20 bass bloody seven. Well, have a nice time there and just, you know, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous at the moment. It really is. What were you doing, <laughs> Rebecca? I, I was out in the hot tub this morning watching the sun come up with coffee. Oh, man, go on, get you, last. That's what we could do here. Little hot tub for the aches and pains. Mind you, I honestly think... Not so much putting the polytunnel up, but flagging that side knocked the, the senses out of me. It just, most of it was done like kind of cold weather and it just, you, well, you know, most of it kind of knocked my shoulder out, but just, I don't seem to have still like fully, I don't know if it's just like, you know, you kind of, you go up a level of pain when you wake up in the morning and I think I'm just kind of hitting a new level of like aches and pains as I wake up. But that just, and I, I remember just like coming, you know, like doing the flagstones, just like took ages to recover. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I see there's some, there's an old boy on the plot there struck, putting flagstones down, and it's like, oh man, the aches and pains you must get, you know? Because I keep on thinking I'm going to, someone mentioned as well, put another bed there, you know, with them big, I've got some big sleepers there, but I'm not. I'm not rushing to do it. What I am going to do is, in the that's just a thought, later on in the, the end of the season, is do that fence and maybe do the other side of the fence and then maybe do that next to Bill's because we keep talking about trying to shore up that fence, which is the one that runs along there. We'll see. Maybe just start with that first little 10-foot fence there. Is sun, sunburn bad for tomato plant? <laughs> La <laughs> Tony Stars is allotments, Latin for getting away from it all. You know, <laughs> like you see, I might be here at bloody 11 o'clock still, just kind of sitting. I should, it's a pity I couldn't shoot. Oh, you can kind of see what it's like. I've got my little table here with my laptop on. I've got a gin and tonic here, and I've got the big boy chair, and just kind of, and there's bird song. You know what I mean? I've done the watering and then the polytunnel. Stan's onions look all right. It's, it's all right. Everything's going all right. All I can say is cover your brassicas. You know what I mean? I just, if there's any any bit of tip I can give you, just uh, any old how to get them covered. You know what I mean? I certainly went away from all this kind of fancy, tight as a drum, smart as out, but just get them covered because, bah, man. Have they crowned Claire? <laughs> yes, they have, Claire. I was, Claire, that's what I was saying. I've been watching. He's called, oh, I forgot the name now. Is, is it Hoff, Hoff Wim, or Wim Hoff, who kind of invented this kind of cold. And basically, it's not swimming, which is nice. I mean, you're going guys wrong, but it's kind of submersing yourself in this freezing cold water with breathing to try and get. So we just went in, freezing cold, mother chugger, and then come out 
where you've got to kind of stay in and get your breathing right for, I guess, at least five minutes or something like that. So that's my next goal. And I might actually bring you along for that one, one, one time, you know what I mean? Kind of finishing a, a, a night shift and just get the camera and take you into the water and see, see how I, I fare. There could be some, some more swearing on that. <laughs> so, yes. What brand of gin? Michael, Michael is just that Gordon's in a tin. Do you know what I mean? It's just, uh, oh, Stan made a brassica tunnel yesterday. Well done, Stan. Can you give us the names of your, your beard dye? If you want for my next hair fix. Beard dye? What is this, is, man? This is a all natural. It's Santi on vacation. I'm going for. <laughs> so what you say? I'm going. Money maker tomorrow's and 35 degrees. Oh, go on there. Oh, Vegas, Las Vegas. Well, wow, Sue. Go on, get you. Thank you for thank you for dropping into this little northeast channel there. Las Vegas. See, I need to see pictures. That's the nice thing. We should have some sort of system where we can kind of put pictures up of every all the allotments and gardens around the world, like a little site. Ginger Pete, I, there's not much swimming, Pete. Just go up to me kind of midriff and then sink down and swear like a mother chopper for five minutes, I think. But like you say, they're all there. You know what I mean? It's, it seems to be kind of taken off there, to be honest. Aye, JB's got his tunnel, Brassica tunnel done. Oh, video, today's video. Accidentally left out a couple of brassicas. <laughs> hey, honestly, you just leave them, you know, you turn your back and they were gone, mine. But at the, what got me was then the left of the red cabbage, you know what I mean? They didn't like the red cabbage. I thought, like, you buggers, you know. <laughs> Strip bare, mine were. And a couple, I think I've caught them now, but that's what I'm saying. The snails seem to have been hammering, but the, the plants, the brassicas, the ones that I've got seem to be picking up again there now, so... Not even the snails are touching the red cabbage. The chilli plants are just going disgustingly bad, to be honest. Um, the two biggins that I've got from B&Q are looking fantastic. I don't know whether just... Like you say, it's such a... You've got to have such a controlled environment and lots of light, lots of heat and just... If you haven't got that, it's bloody hard work and just frustrating. Like I say, I'd grew them. I mean, that was just doing it for the for the videos. You know, growing them from November, but then to see them kind of crash and burn in one night, <laughs> it's just like man. But that's the way of God and the way of God. How long have we been on for now? We're coming up to nearly half an hour, so I think we're kind of, that's all right there, half an hour. Should we should we knock it on the head? People have got work tomorrow, you know what I mean? Yes, they go, there's, there's a little bit left in there. We'll stay for till the end. But actually, I'm going home to an empty house. My good wife's staying at her dad's tonight. It's one of the nights she stays there. So... I will be cooking my own tea once I get in and then dogs out and then early night, early night for an early rise. <laughs> the rock and roll garden has. <laughs> Mind you, I can, me and the wife in, in that respect, Melanie in that respect, are totally different. She's a total night bird and stay up, you know what I mean, where I wobble around half nine, ten o'clock and I'm all over the shop but then Half five, I could get up and not saying run a marathon, but the, the the thoughts there, and like Melanie will just no, not 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 a morning person, you know. So I've definitely, and I kind of like it now, like that. You know what I mean? I was getting myself a bit frustrated. I was kind of getting tired dead early, but you watch all these videos and the sleep's the the great thing. It'd be nice if I could just stay in a bit later. You know what I mean? Like you said, I wake up pretty early just because. As soon as the dogs just hear you roll over, do you know what I mean? It's just it's walk time, walk time. So, oh, 
Ginger Pete retired four years ago. Well, I don't want to retire. I just want to ease off. <laughs> you know what I mean? I just want to, don't want to see the, the lads and lasses in the office there, but it's just to have like all them time off and just to potter on in here and, you know, like be able to go away more often and instead of like bound to a chair, like one of those control room chairs, which are like big things and lovely, mind you, they're lovely and comfortable, but. Yeah, well, I think that's it, Esh. Do we, do we knock it on the head? I don't know how to, do we let everyone get away and sup up, you know what I mean? And just get your gardens put to bed. I can see some people are coming up now to water. I mean, I'm all done there, so nice to, just to say hello to everyone again. I haven't been since the the hut, you know what I mean? Doing things in the in the propagating and the pot, potty shed. So it's nice to get, and it, it seems to work. I'm just going off my work, on, off my phone, 4G data, hotspotting to my laptop to see the comments. Paul, Paul, does that mean you going wild swimming, Paul? Or am I going wild swimming? I'm not going wild. I've had a drink now. <laughs> so, what's Amanda saying? Don't go. Come on. I'm getting cold. <laughs> Mike, what's Mike saying? Planted out tomatoes yesterday. Two money maker in Old Nimbus. Gardener's Light and two Heinz tomato. What? I can't see what that says. Two Heinz tomato plants that were free seeds given on a bottle of ketchup five years ago. Oh wow! Go on, Mike. That's that's unreal. I hope. Uh, did you see they've come? That's fantastic. Oh yeah, I have. The, you've planted out so well done, lad. Struggling with parsnips, but put some in more. And more. Mine, I cannot see mine. Ron, I thought I might have seen them by now, but no, no. Right, um, Amanda, you're asking if I've been wild swimming tonight or you're going wild swimming tonight. I'm growing bloody butcher this year. All oh, right, oh, I thought you didn't know what you're talking about there, Rebecca. What a nice bunch of flowers you have. Oh, fl flowers, followers, man. <laughs> Sorry, two on, lad. Right, sweet corn. I, Kevin, I've. To be honest, I've never checked. I forgot all about them. I, the sweet corn, I planted mine out. And sometimes they get the little heads topped off with the, the slugs and snails, but they seem all right. What's in the pink cup, Tony? It's gin. <laughs> it's gin, Steve. Just neat gin. <laughs> no, I've shown this before. It's just, I brought one can up there, just a little Gordon, just a. Take the edge off the busy day, you know what I mean? Just kind of relax in the garden and say hello to you. But I'm going to say bye to you now. We've been on half an hour there now. I think that's nice. I haven't got all my kind of different angle cameras like in the potty shed, so you're just looking at me. You could go around and have a look at the stuff, but that's for a video. I'm going to do a little tour one, I think, soon. So I'm not, Ian, I'm not growing peas this year. Um, I'm not, no, and I don't know why I didn't, to be honest, and I'm, I'm all right, to be honest, this year, I've, you've got to kind of, there's only so, so many beds and so many things and peas, I've, I've got a great crop actually in these two, it was these two beds, yeah, I got washed too, and by the time I've turned round, I forgot, to be honest, to be honest, I forgot, right then, I think I'll uh, get myself away, and I hope you've had a lovely time. Look out for the next videos. Don't forget, if you want to join the Potty Mouth Garden Club, I, I would appreciate that. Two pound a pop each month. That's how it support me in this little endeavor. And I will catch you in the next video. Right, look after yourselves. Take good care, honestly. It's been a blast. Thank you so much for even just turning up. Everyone, you're all friends and it's amazing. Thank you. Take care.